All right, I'm really excited to see how this, this PK team does the deeds. Oh, okay, so Squirtle is actually pretty good against Palutena. He's fast and small and with really good frame data, so he's able to, like, get in, get it into her zone uh, and do lots of damage really quickly. But as Pokemon Trainer often kind of does... Wow, I love that option. I honestly think that it's really just... Ah, the hyper-switching. Basically, I think that the switches from Pokemon Trainer are really, like, the, using them rapidly. Or just, you know, switching more is underutilized in general from Pokemon Trainer. There's actually, a, like, a lot that, you know... When your opponent... That, okay, explosive flame says, but that angle? Neat. Um, but, you know, like, if your opponent is playing against the Squirtle, they're looking for certain options. You know, there are things that they're worried about. And if they switch to Ivysaur, or if it's Ivysaur to Charizard, uh, even. Like, there are things that the opponent just isn't going to be ready for. Oh, man, that back it almost did it. All right. He's going to be staying hard while he's here at the ledge. I don't know if he's going to be able to kill him off of this. Oh, wow. Waits for the switch. Perfectly anticipated. And that means that Utopian Raid gets the first stock. Like, there's always, whenever you're Ivysaur and you get hit, especially at low percent, it's, you, it's like a rock in a hard place where you want to, first of all, you want to switch because it gives you invincibility, uh, but then you're, now you're Charizard at low percent against a character that's very, very good at comboing. So it could be an out of the frying pan into the fire. And as we've seen so far, this Ivysaur has been trapped at ledge. 100 damage has already been racked on. Back throw, not enough. I wonder if some pummels maybe would have helped him out right there. But regardless, he gets him in the ledge trap. Ivysaur forward smash. Really? Noku of uh, the Westchester player gets so many kills off of Ivysaur F smash at the ledge. More than he should. Uh, but that's on everyone else. He would just get hit by it. Oh, man. Yeah, he had to switch off of Squirtle 4. Yeah, all right. That's how you. That's how you win. That's how you beat him. I don't even know what he's doing. trying to go for like a fancy ledge cancel. Nice. Palutena up smash. That's all I have to say about that kill. Ooh, great use of the uh, Squirtle side B. I wonder if Squirtle side B actually is an effective. Is effective against auto radical. stocks right now. He's been staying Squirtle for quite some time. I actually kind of agree with the decision. Oh, that was, I don't even, that was close to being something scary. He had no jump when he was off there. Uh, but, yeah, you know, so when you're Charizard, and you don't want to be, there's a super scary thing where you have to switch for Squirtle for a bit, because if you want to go back to Ivysaur, and Squirtle considering is so light at higher percents, even if it's just for like a few seconds, switching to Squirtle can spell your doom. All right, but he finds an opportunity to go back to Ivysaur. I think that's the character he wants to be at this point in time. It might be uh, that down throw. All right, he has actually, uh, wants the actually to survive ability. Goes Charizard, that forward tilt actually sends him so far away. Dash attack is not enough. That extra bulk on the on the Charizard is helping him right there. Oh no, he's Squirtle, he's so tiny. Anything will kill him. And he's going for down smash. That down smash though is surprisingly lagless. And he gets the kill with Ivysaur forward smash. I'm telling you, switching rapidly is really good. It sort of dukes out your opponent. Like, you think, you know, it wouldn't? But, like, your opponent, like, kind of takes a second to remember what options are supposed to be playing around. And sometimes in that instant is all you need to capitalize and get a forward smash to win the game. Solster is, uh, takes game one. If he manages to win this game two, <coughs> or game three, he puts himself in winner's semis. That's top eight at a Zeno. That's, I haven't done that. You... 
probably haven't done that. Pokemon Trainer. Granted, let's not forget that game ever. Stock 2 was basically given to him. Also, he's playing the, uh, the cute Alolan Trainer. Underrepresented skin from Pokemon Trainer. What adjustments does Jan... Oh, oh sorry. Does Toby and Ray need to make this game? I think that one of them is has to do with like and when when uh, Solcer goes for those more rapid switches, especially in when he's in neutral or disadvantage, because Pokemon Trainer switching in disadvantage, this is its ability, but considering he's already in advantageous position, he can still usually cover things, and that switch to Squirtle was actually so bad for him. That lightness, I believe he's, I know he's definitely like one of the lightest, four lightest characters in the game. I think it might even be three lightest. Up to, I also love the down tilt out of, uh, out of shield, knowing that that was kind of the only option fast enough and enough range to reach him. Ooh, forward toe is just safe. And, uh, Yo, what's up? So, How's it going? What I miss? Um, just game gonna... one went to Soul Sir. Uh, I've been solo commentating for like an hour. Oh, <laughs> missed that. That was fun. We're all commentators, Jack. What? We're all commentators, Jack. Where did they go? Oh well, Cars lost to Soul Sir. Soul Sir's up a game. Oh yeah, Soul Sir's up a game. Let's go, Soul Sir. He did. So game one uh, was. Pretty, the beginning was very dominant for Utopian Ray, mm -hmm. and then he kind of asked, I don't know if he was going for something fancy, but he just upbeat off stage and died. And after that, uh, Soul Sir managed to nab a comeback on the last stock. Well, now he's getting his ass kicked. Building false sense of confidence. What better way to learn your opponent's habits than to get them to uh, condition them to beating you up? Then when next game, when they stop beating you, don't let them beat you up. Uh, that's, that's the counterplay. Is he dead? No. Ah, I'm sure grab actually landing right there. That was amazing timing and spacing on the explosive flame. Able to catch Ivysaur. When he up he has that little thing where he gets a little extra height. Could be it. Goes for the back air, but good DI. Oh, man. Actually, that was fantastic work off stage. Manages to get back, but uh, this is... Back on stage is not the same as back in the game. Like, he's at... Utopian Ray's at 43%, and this could possibly be uh, Solster's death right here. Oh, gets him again. Oh, down air aggressive option, actually. Another explosive flame, but I love that he actually spaced the upbeat so that he didn't get caught on the way up from that uh, the tether animation again. And with that, uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, we definitely not. <laughs> yeah, all right. Devin didn't let me cast while eating. Uh, have you, uh, have, uh, did you guys not want to hear? Isn't it, isn't it like a, it's like a form of ASMR, right? Listening to somebody eat to chew. I've been drinking. Water, H2O. Uh, yes. H2O. Oh, this is a bottle of vodka. I'm pretty sure I'd be dead if this was vodka. You chugged it. Alright, let's jump into game three. You got no. Smashville. You're gonna do some, uh,. So Utopian Ray took away game number two? Yes. Um, game three now. Uh, and we are New York City. There's no way this is best out of five. So that means the next 
uh, this game decides who gets to go into winner's semis. Winner is guaranteed top eight. And Solcer definitely wants to do that. You know, he managed to take game one. Wow, he still managed to get to the ledge right there. Oh my god, that down air. I don't know if he beefy up bead, but something went horribly wrong for him. And now he's at two stocks and only 57% on to. Yeah, he tried to go for uh, holding down on that fly. Try to catch his opponent off guard. Ray saw it coming. But I think that might have been like at the end of the uh, the super armor. Because that move does have super armor, which is hilarious. Um, can't tell you how many times I've against a Pikachu go off stage and purposely fly. And they upbeat running and they get hit. And it's adorable. Yeah, so now you catch a lot of people off guard. You see Ray again capitalizing on that. Oh, that, I, Ray had the right idea. Wanting to go for a counter. Would he have gotten hit by that guy? Because I know that he bounces away. No, he would have. Yeah, he would have died. He would have exploded. He, he would have disintegrated in like two frames. Okay, down throw, forward air, sandwich spot. Not gonna send anywhere. And Ray getting a little overzealous with these counters, and gets called out by the forward tilt. Good DI. He's gonna be able to live. That should be it. Oh man, just catch him with that forward tilt again. Ah, uh, but he want. He wanted to go for like the the assure that he's dead, but mistiming that down air means that now. All right, but there it is with uh, stage control. He eventually gets the forward air he needs to take the game. No harm, no foul. Stop. No, no, Squirtle, Squirtle, please. Every time he's Squirtle at higher percents, I respect that he's doing it, but it's so scary. Squirtle just dies. I. Probably gonna switch to. Oh no, he's sticking with Charizard! Never mind. Uh. Oh, it's a spot dodge at that grab attempt. This is big damage. We know that Ivysaur can do big damage. We know he can get big kills, and that's what he needs right now. An amazing job with that dash back right there. And now it's just a question of whether he can keep that momentum going. Oh, but he's now Charizard, and Charizard can take a whole lot of damage quickly, but he can also possibly end Ray's stock right here. If he wanted to go for, like, super hard reach Flare Blitz, I'm pretty sure that would just kill. Uh, the Squirtle is kind of, I'm not going to say he's been holding it back, but... I mean, now I'm really going to end up feeling like bad about myself in terms of the Squirtle is what gets in the second stock. And ends up switching to Ivy, so I think that's the right call at this point. It's a shame for us also, man. He took away game one, and unfortunately for him, Ray is adapting to the playstyle so close to a really good oh win. We have God, a double parry. Yeah, oh. you don't even need to go for a counter, man. If you just go for the simple parry, or just honestly I, I, just block counter it. Counter is easier to do than double parry you also, and you, Honestly, you just need to block it and, you know, punish the aftermath, and that's exactly what Ray did, and that's when he's going to be able to connect that down air, get the spike, get the kill, get the set win, and move on into Oh, my God, semis. and he just dabbed.